Hey everyone, good afternoon and welcome to another Google Plus Hangout here on MLSsoccer.com. My name is Josh Weisenhunt and we are excited to be joined on the other end is a guy that we really can't wait to talk to, LA Galaxy homegrown forward, Giassi Zardes. Giassi, how's it going my man? It's going pretty good, how about yourself? Hey, we're, I mean, you're out there in sunny California, it's a little cloudy here in New York City, so wouldn't wouldn't mind trading places, but I mean, what are you going to do? And you're actually out in a uh, a fancy new location over there. What's good in the StubHub suite right now? Oh yeah, I mean, it's a new setup in the StubHub suite, and I'm liking the new stuff. I mean, yeah. How's that food. chair? How's that chair? Pretty comfy. Oh yeah, you have a lazy boy right here. <laughs> <laughs> just 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 reclining. All right. Well, uh, here's how this one is going to work. We already have a list of questions submitted by all of you that we're going to send Giassi's way. But if there's something that you do want to know, just let us know so we can put your question in, either in the comments below or you can tweet us using the hashtag AskGiassi. And who knows, you might get an answer from the big guy. So Giassi, you ready? You ready to get started? I'm ready. All right, cool. We're going to start this one off on Twitter. Uh, this is a popular one. Uh, we picked this one out from at Gavin's a boss. Let's talk hair for a second, man. Gavin wants to know about the inspiration for your current style, where did it come from? Um, well, I've always liked the Mohawk, but um, if I recall, I, I used to watch Neymar when he was younger at Santos, and all right, I like Neymar rocking it, so I was like, I'm gonna give it a shot, see how it looks, and I just stuck with it through my college years and brought it over to Galaxy. Dude, well, I don't have any problem with it. I, I dig it. Like, so, so speaking of your hair and your head, and whatever else is going on up there, you used it all to score on Sunday against Chivas USA. Just rose up and got the winner in that big rivalry match at the StubHub Center. Um, just take us through that goal real quick. How'd that one come about? Oh, yeah. Well, I saw Landon uh, release his hand and bring it down, and then I made a crashing run into the box. And I used my left hand to push off um, number three, the Chivas defender. And then I just kind of just snapped my head towards the goal just to put it on frame and it hit the back post and went in. That's just how you draw it up. A lot of fans are actually asking like, what goes through your head like when you score a goal? Like what, what is the feeling like as soon as that ball goes in the net? Oh, it's one of the best feelings in the world. I mean, I just want to celebrate because I've been working hard to put it in the back of the net and it finally goes in. So I just want to do a little dance. <laughs> that's right, that's right. All right, well switching gears back to social media for a sec. Harry Adam Carter on Facebook wanted to know, uh, and he's he's giving you some trouble here. Giassi, why why don't you use Twitter, man? You're you're not very active on Twitter. Obviously, you have a great handle, Giassino, but Harry wants to know, you know, why you aren't why you aren't more active. What's good with that? Um, well, I'm I'm new to Twitter. Um, I'm just so familiar with Instagram and a little. I'm I'm still new to Vine, but. I don't know, Twitter confuses me sometimes, like with the whole conversations and the tweets. Uh, I have some of my teammates who also get on me about it and trying to help me out, but I'm going to start start being more active on Twitter. <laughs> all right, all right. I'm sure your fans will appreciate it. So make sure you follow him at Giacino if you aren't already. Big, big things to come. So whatever. Forget about Twitter for a sec. You mentioned it, actually. Um, no one, I don't think, in MLS, not anywhere, in the world has the Vine skills like you do. I mean, where, do, where does your inspiration come from on Vine? Oh, well, on Vine, um, I usually make videos on away trips. Yeah. So when I'm just sitting around the hotel hydrating, I just think of just funny stuff, and then I, I just tell my teammates, hey, you guys want to do this? And they're always up for it. So it's, it's great just uh, to come up with an idea and just put it on Vine, and next thing you know, people love it. Yeah, perfect. All right, so I want to talk about one of them in particular, and you might know which one I'm talking about because this is the one that like <laughs> this was the one that blew up. Um, obviously, for everyone watching, Giassi and his fellow homegrown teammate Oscar Sorto made a uh, Mortal Kombat vine that we'd encourage you to watch because it's pretty incredible. How long did that take to put together? I wish I could reenact it, but I'm like not even gonna even try. But how long did that take you guys to put together? To be honest, it took us like uh, just about two minutes. It was just short. Everything was one take. Yeah, just one take. We just went through it. <laughs> oh yeah. I love that. I love that. Did you play Mortal Kombat growing up as a kid? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I love. I love playing Mortal Kombat. Scorpion. <laughs> Scor the Scorpion. All right. Now speaking of your guy Oscar, 
Uh, the U.S. U-20s actually just fell 4-1 to Ghana. I know you got some some boys on that squad. What do you think about that? Oh, yeah. Well, a couple of us, uh, we were watching the game, and they took a couple of hard goals at the end, like the header from the corner kick. It was just two goals, I think, under 10 minutes, and it was a tough one. It was a tough one, but I felt like U.S. had various opportunities. Yeah, for sure. It was, a, it was definitely an interesting tournament because – I mean, obviously, they, it was a great result against France a couple days ago, and that's just how, how it goes sometimes, I guess. Now, speaking of another tournament, actually, um, as we're recording this, and we'll, we'll get you out of here soon, Giassi, so maybe you can go watch it if you want, but we got Spain and Italy uh, kicking off in the semifinals of the Confederations Cup down in there in Brazil. Um, what do you think, man? Who's, who's going to end up taking this thing? Oh, yeah, well, I saw, before I came in, I saw... Spain's lineup, and I'm a huge fan of David Silva, and they have David Silva, Pedro up top, um, and I think David Villa, I know uh, Fernando Torres is up top with them. I mean, to be honest, Spain, I think they're going to take it hands down. Um, Italy, I, I'm not sure if Balotelli is starting up top for them, but still, Spain is just a powerhouse. Yeah, for sure. All right, so we'll go with your prediction. Say Spain make it past Italy, get through to the final. How do you think that one's going to go against Brazil? I know you mentioned your boy Neymar. What do you think? Oh, I want Brazil to take it. I don't want Spain to win. <laughs> so you're so you're like you're you're a huge Neymar fan. What do you like about him? Yeah, I mean, I just I'm I love how Neymar just um, show his skill. And although sometimes people think it's selfish, he's a forward. And if he's in the final third of the field, go on, like take a player on or two. And if you're unsuccessful, once you get the ball, try it again. Like, I, I love yeah. that about Neymar. I love it. Go on, son. Go on. <laughs> All right. All right, cool. Well, uh, speaking, I guess, staying on international soccer and, and international stars, we had this question from Edgar on Instagram, actually. I know I know you love your Instagram. So he <laughs> wanted to know, he actually put this one, this might have been on your profile, might have been on the Galaxies, might have been on ours, I'm not really sure. But he wanted to know, you know, was there a player that you looked that you looked up to when you were a kid growing up that you wanted to kind of emulate? I know you mentioned Neymar, but I mean you guys are and he's only a bit he's actually younger than you. But oh, yeah. um, <laughs> but when you were growing up when you when you were just a little kid, I mean who do, who did you look up to? Oh yeah, when I was little I used to I used to watch the old Brazilian, the Ronaldo. Ronaldo, mm -hmm. uh, the forward. Um yeah, I've heard I used of to him. watch <laughs> I used to watch some of his clips when he played for Inter Milan. Uh, he was a legend. Just his technique and his acceleration. I mean, I, I'm a fan of Brazilians, and I, I used to watch Ronaldinho also, like the whole Joga Bonita era. I used mm -hmm. to love watching Ronaldinho for Paris Saint Germain, and then when he came to Barcelona, he was amazing, amazing. Yeah, it was. He would certainly was incredible. 2004, 2005. I remember leading up to that 2006 World Cup. That was like, that was just a, you know, he was on a different level. Different oh, level yeah. for sure. So we talked about you know who you admired when you were when you were just a little guy growing up, and then you became a big guy. And this question is from JPS Laga on Twitter um, regarding your your PDL days. He actually he said, "I saw you play when you were with Ventura County Fusion," and he wanted to know how playing at that level helped prepare you for MLS. Oh well, playing PDL was a was a great opportunity for me just to mature as a player. I was playing against guys who were older, and obviously their body compared to mine, these guys were grown men. So it just helped me play against competition that was much faster, much stronger, and it helped me think think quicker. So, I mean, it was, it was uh, yeah. like I said before, it was very maturing. So how does that level compare to, you know, what you were playing at Bakersfield in terms of who, the guys you were playing against in the um, level? Well, the level at PDL is definitely higher because in college, mm -hmm. you have players that are also younger than you and um, much smaller than you that are coming in. But the PDL level, you guys, you have players that play professional who are experienced. So definitely uh, PDL is uh, on a higher level, but you also have great guys in college who can also compete at a high level also. Yeah, for sure. And so obviously you excelled at that level. Um, you excelled in college, and then this winter, you finally, uh, you know, finalized details on a homegrown contract with LA Galaxy. Uh, Joseph Watkins on Google Plus just wanted to know what that feeling was like for you. What was it like to, to you know, achieve 
this goal that was, uh, I'm sure, a dream for you to obviously become a pre professional player and, and, and be able to do it in MLS for your hometown team? Oh, it was a dream come true. I mean, I think about it every day I drive to work. I mean, my job is to play professional soccer, to play soccer, something I love. I mean, not a lot of people can say, oh, I love what I do, you know, but me, I've dreamed about this my whole life, and I'm finally able to achieve it. And now I just have to set higher goals just to achieve those goals. But I'm definitely blessed to, to be a part of LA Galaxy. Yeah, for sure. And we actually had, just had a question come in from Andrew Magania on uh, YouTube, actually, who's watching this one on YouTube. Andrew asks, um, have you, if you could kind of think back from the time that you've joined the Galaxy, and when, when obviously games started, and you, you were hurt at the beginning of the year, but, and, but obviously now you're in the swing of things and doing very well for yourself. But if, can you pick out one moment that was kind of like a welcome to the league moment for you? Uh, well, while I was hurt or after my injury? Any time, you know, any time since, since this season has started. Um, I'll definitely have to say I think it was the Houston game when I came on. And, I mean, they had some big guys on the back line. And uh, if, I, if I can recall, I think I, it was kind of like a blindside hit. Um, and in my eyes, it was just like I'm at a different level and it's high speed. And I was just like I have to get the ball and play it. I can't hold on to the ball. So it was yeah. just, it was just like a welcoming party that way, just a blind side. <laughs> yeah, no, man, I could, I could definitely see that. That's actually, that's, I, that's, I think that's, that's stuff that's really cool to hear. You know, just those, just those moments in the game where, where you realize that it, that it's different and that you need to adjust. So, oh, yeah. um, as, as we mentioned, you were, you're a homegrown player, um, and part of a pretty serious homegrown crew out there in LA. Uh, you know, between obviously you and and Jose and Jack and everyone. Um, that academy is just churning out prospects like no other. And Delfino uh, Carreras on Facebook, he just kind of wanted your opinion um, about how important of a role do you think that academies play in MLS right now? Oh, academy plays an important role in developing players in the U.S. because these coaches are experienced coaches and they know right from wrong. They're in connections with other professional coaches and to be honest, the, the U.S. is really developing these young players at a young age and they're working with other great players as opposed to playing with a club team when you have some good players and then some that are not up to par. But with the academy, everybody's at the skill level you want to be at and it's just advancing in my eyes. Yeah, for sure. All right. But now, obviously, you know, you went through that system. You're in it now. Um, and you probably know this already, um, but you do happen to play for the most high-profile club in Major League Soccer. And Jesse Alvarado on Twitter, uh, he wanted to know, I guess now as a senior player, uh, but still a very young player, of course, do you feel, do you feel pressure wearing that LA, that LA Galaxy uniform each day? Um, well, I, I don't feel pressured but I always tell myself to work extremely hard every single day because, I mean, at the end of the day, I'm playing for this club and I want us to be number one. So that's, that's probably my, my type of pressure is making yeah. sure I work hard every day and keeping this team number one. And so you talk, about, you talk about working hard every day, every training session, obviously every game. Let's talk about games for a second. This one comes from our guy at Google+, Plus, actually, Jed Lavery. Uh, Jed wanted to know what the Giassi Zardes pregame playlist looks like. What are you listening to when you're when you're rolling up to the StubHub Center when you're in the locker room? Oh well, I listen to. I'm not sure if you heard of these artists, but uh, I listen to Andy Minio. And I'm LeClaire. sure I'm sure someone has, even if I don't. So just, <laughs> oh, just yeah. fire them off. Oh yeah, I just listen to Andy Minio. Um, his whole his new CD recently came out, and I let, I followed through with his playlist, and I also listened to. Um, Lecrae and switch it up a little bit, Uncle Reese, um, just really anything just to really get me hyped and just get me going. I just try to get my adrenaline up, you know? No doubt, no doubt. What about, what about off the field? What about when you're, when you're not playing a game? I mean, is it, is it kind of the same thing that, that, you, that you're listening to or do you, have, do you have some other artists and groups that you like to just Oh, yeah. I have, I have other artists. I mean, I listen to Chris August, uh, Hillsong United. Um, and to switch up the genre a little bit, maybe indie or even techno, Vici. Um, I like to switch it up. Um, I I'm a fan for music. I love music because 
obviously I feel like my mood changes by the type of songs I've listened I listen to. So I love all kind of artists like uh Stevie Oki, you know. I can go on for days. Dude, DJ you T. can go on for days <laughs> right now. You're like you're it's well rounded. I like it, Chiasi. All right, all right, sounds good. This one actually we just got one in from your boy Cosmo, the LA Galaxy mascot. <laughs> okay. Cosmo Cosmo says that he predicted your goal and your breakthrough game last week against Chivas. Is he? He wants to know if he's your good luck charm. Uh, as of right now, then, since he predicted that, I think so. <laughs> That's right. You hear that, Cosmo? Make sure, you, make sure you show up to the next home game for sure. I have a feeling he'll be there. All right. All right. Sounds good. Sounds good. Next one, Mike Villasenor on Google+. Plus. He wants to know about your strike partner for the last few games. He's, at, he's asking, how do you enjoy partnering up top? with a guy like Robbie Keane. Oh, I love it. I mean, words can't even explain the type of movement Robbie Keane does. I mean, the way he thinks off the ball is just incredible. So I just try to analyze Robbie and base my game around him because he's my partner up top. By a simple run Robbie made, he take he drag out two defenders almost every time, which allows me to be open. So I love just being up top with him and, and just playing alongside with him. So. Yeah, I mean, that's that's an interesting thing. I mean, I think that's something that, obviously, a, any any casual fan who watches the Galaxy play and, and watches watches a guy like Robbie Keane play every weekend knows that he's, you know, at a certain level. But And you mentioned it a little bit with the, with the runs that he makes and off the ball and everything. But, I mean, what are, what are uh, is there any any other little thing maybe that you see in training every day that he that he brings that you can just tell, like, okay, I can see, I can see why that guy has set himself apart throughout his entire career? And what sort of things have you picked up from him? Um, definitely his first touch. And also, uh, he does this, he does like a, I mean, every forward is supposed to do it, but it's kind of like a glance over your back to check on the defenders. But he does it constantly, constantly, always checking over his shoulder and his surroundings. And I, I just love watching him do that. It just, I mean, once he does that and then his first touch is phenomenal, it's just incredible just to watch a player like him play every day in training. Yeah, and it's, I mean, I think for all the fans out there, it's a, it's a pleasure to watch to watch him as well. Um, let's, uh, you know, we talked a little Mortal Kombat earlier. Now let's talk, let's talk FIFA. Uh, oh. <laughs> Jonathan, at, it's this one guy on Twitter wanted to ask if you've uh, had a chance to use yourself in FIFA 13 yet. Oh, L -O -L. yeah. LOL. <laughs> LOL. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, the, first, the first time, I got a text from a friend, and he said, check out FIFA, update the new squads, you're on FIFA. So I did that. And then after that, I told all my boys, and we got a FIFA game going. And it turned out I was actually pretty good on FIFA. I mean, my speed was up to par, and I could whip a shot. So I was pretty happy uh, about hey. my ratings on FIFA. <laughs> EA Sport, EA, the people at EA Sports are taking care of you, Jazz. Yeah. That's, good. that's good to see. I know a lot of young guys, maybe they get slept on a little bit, but that, that's good. So what about your actual FIFA skills? Like, who is, the, who is the best FIFA player in the LA Galaxy locker room? On, a, oh. on, a, on, a, on, a, on any given day, if there's, a, if there's a tournament, who do you think is walking away with the, with the trophy? Well, that's an excellent question because I haven't, I haven't really played my other teammates, but I think we might have a tournament coming up. But, All right. Um, I've heard things such as uh, Hector. I've, I've heard, heard uh, some, I think, Heard Hector. some whispers. Yeah, I think Hector is <laughs> good, yeah. But, I mean, I'm going to find out pretty soon. <laughs> All right, all right, sounds good. Back, uh, back on field, we got Jesse Alvarado again. This time on YouTube, Jesse Alvarado is everywhere today. Um, <laughs> he wanted to know what, what's the reception like as a as a young player in in your mind? I mean, it does it from away fans. Um, he thinks that it must be hard wearing that Galaxy crest when you go to any away venue because you're just you're just always going to kind of be a target. I mean. What, what was that like, that, that first away stadium that you stepped into? Uh, you know, what, what were you seeing in warm-ups? Like, how was, how was that whole experience? Well, I, for me, I love playing away games. I love when, when people in the crowd are just shouting out you, you know, yeah. just screaming all kind of things. I love that because I, all I want to do is score a goal and just the stadium go quiet. Um, it's one of the best <laughs> feelings. But... I mean, I, I do recall a time, uh, I think we were in real Salt Lake, and it was, they had their uh, their crew behind the goal just yelling all kind of stuff. I mean, it's a different atmosphere, but I just put it in the back of my head, I just know once we score, the crowd is going to go silent. So 
I just keep that in my mind. <laughs> Hey, that's not a bad thing to keep in your mind for sure. All right, last one that we got right now, uh, at Lobito6 on Twitter. Um, this one's pretty easy, Jossie. All right. Your, your greatest, your happiest, your best soccer moment of all time. Go. Of all time? Um, I'll have to say it was in college when I got a hat trick against uh, UC Riverside. I mean, it was a great moment. Um, I got a hat trick, but every goal I scored, I did a different dance. I think the first goal I did samba, the second goal I think I did salsa, and then the third goal I did the dougie. So I got a hat trick, and I gotta got to end. Got to end it with the dougie <laughs> always. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, sounds good. Well, that's a pretty good moment. And earlier, you mentioned, um, you know, obviously, you know, starting getting established with the galaxy and scoring goals and everything like that has been obviously a goal of yours as a forward. And you said you. You, you still have goals that you've set that you want to achieve. I mean, what are, what are some of those that, may, that maybe you can share, whatever, short-term, long-term? I mean, what, what, are you, what are you eyeing down the road? Um, down the road, I mean, for this season, uh, I definitely want to get better every single day. Um, I want to win a championship with my, uh, with my club team, uh, the Galaxy. And I also want to have the opportunity in the future just to make the U.S. men's national team. I mean, mm -hmm. I think that's every everybody's dream who play everybody dream who plays soccer here in U.S. want to play for the national team. So that's definitely a dream of mine. Absolutely, and actually, some news, big news about one of your teammates. Obviously, Landon Donovan is in is in that Gold Cup squad that came out today. Um, obviously, Landon, it's been an interesting sort of season with him surrounding you know his. The, his layoff, and, and now he's coming back, and he's fit, and he's firing, and he's scoring goals. I mean, what do you make of his form? What do you make of playing with him so far? Oh, yeah, I love playing with Landon. I mean, he keeps me honest. He makes me yeah. work hard, you know. Um, he's always talking to me throughout throughout practice, warm-up, just constantly just giving advice and tips, and I'm, I'm very thankful just to be on a, a team with him because the knowledge he has and just to apply it to my game is just going to make me a better player. I mean, He's fully fit, and then just to watch him go on and represent the U.S. national team in the Gold Cup, it's going to be a great moment in my eyes. Yeah, it's going to be good. It's going to be fun to watch, and, and you know, if and when you get there, that's going to be fun to watch as well. I'm sure Landon will be happy for you too. So obviously short term, that's, long, that's, a, that's a little bit longer term, but short term obviously you guys are getting ready to cruise up to San Jose to oh, yeah. face, the, face the earthquakes on Saturday night. How are you feeling? How's the squad feeling ahead of that trip? Um, I, I'm feeling pretty good, and I, I also think the team is feeling great. Um, we know we're going to go away up north to a, a, a California rivalry, and yep. I mean, we're, we're going up there to take care of business, so I think it's going to be a great opportunity to walk out of there with a couple of points. Yeah, so this is actually, this is actually interesting to me. It's something I thought about right before we got on. Uh, you know, you being, a, being an L.A. kid and obviously being an L.A. homegrown player, I feel like, you know, Four or five, maybe six years ago, the big rivalry with LA was with Chivas. Oh yeah. And now, based on all the games that happened last year and some of San Jose's success, I feel like people are starting to say that San Jose is actually LA's biggest rival. In your eyes, what's the bigger game? Um, in my eyes, it, it it was Chivas, but we're not playing Chivas anymore. So I have a new rivalry, and I think it's San Jose. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Well, good thing that that one's coming up on Saturday right. night, Giassi. That does it for us, man. Remember, you guys that are all watching, you can catch Giassi and the rest of his LA Galaxy teammates this Saturday, 10.30 p.m. Eastern, and it's actually going to be streamed on MLSsoccer.com. They're taking it on the San Jose Earthquakes in the first edition of the Cali Classico this season. You get to stream it for free on MLSsoccer.com, which is pretty awesome. Giassi, do you have any final shout-outs for anyone out there? Uh, yeah, I mean, I want to thank my coaches on the coaching staff at LA Galaxy. I want to thank Keith Costigan for everything he done for me and parents, family. Keith and Costigan. Just, yes, blessed to be here. <laughs> That's your boy. All right, man. Well, yeah. uh, well, thanks so much for joining us again, and obviously best of luck this weekend. Thank you. Thanks, Giassi.